Welcome back to the fourth episode of High Yield Images. To add a twist to this video, we have a challenge for you. We will reveal the images and the names of the associated disease and you need to decode the key findings from the image. All of these topics have been repeated multiple times in the past NEET PG, FMG and INICT. So do not underestimate how important this can be. Let's look at the first image. This is an idiopathic microangiopathic condition. We are talking about dermatomyositis. The next image shows a CT scan of pulmonary embolism which might be related to a blood clot. With that hint, this should be an easy one. The third x-ray is a case of ulcerative colitis. Moving on, we have a tumor usually formed in the tailbone. This condition is referred to as teratoma. The next x-ray shows a case of reactivation TB. Time to look at the key findings and the first image shows a case of dermatomyositis where the primary cause is prominently visible in the form of heliotrop rash. DM may have a gradual or acute onset and can be characterized by a waxing and waning progression. Moving on to the next image which showed a case of pulmonary embolism. The key findings show that it originates in the DVT also referred to as deep vein thrombosis. Autosomal dominant condition like factor 5 Leiden mutation and prothrombin gene mutation. The third image is an x-ray of ulcerative colitis where you can notice a complete loss of hostral marking throughout the colon. The organ appears smooth walled and cylindrical called as lead pipe appearance. Severe long segment stricture is also noted at ascending colon and hepatic flexure of the colon. It involves inflammation restricted to the mucosa and submucosa of the colon. Moving on to the next image which is a case of teratoma. The key finding shows two or more layers called as mesoderm, endoderm and ectoderm. The last image from this video was an x-ray of reactivation TB. Chest x-ray reveals a dense consolidation in the right upper lobe with questionable air fluid level. No pneumothorax, no pleural effusion. Differential includes right upper lobe pneumonia or tuberculosis. CT is recommended for further evaluation if there is a concern for a cavity. We hope you had quite a few takeaways from this video. Like the video if you found the concept interesting. Subscribe for more high yield images. See you in the next one.